Hello everyone and welcome back to another cooking vlog. Welcome to my channel and my name is Venny and this is Venny Vlogs. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, this recipe we're going to cook for you guys is called Fei A E Lengi or translated to coconut cream uh, mackerel bake. So basically it's a um, simple dinner meal that you can have or lunch meal. Um, it consists of um, coconut cream tin mackerel or tin fish, some onions um, and some herbs and just flavours just to add in there. So a um, special mention to everyone that's um, tuning in and thanks for subscribing, whoever's um, out there <laughs> subscribing to this channel, thank you so much. Don't forget to give this um, recipe vlog a thumbs up, a like and subscribe if you're new here. Also um, this was requested by one of my followers on Instagram. So shout out to you, thank you for um, the um, request and I did put up a poll um, via my Instagram story um, so keep an eye on that. But yeah, hope you guys have a um, good evening and we'll see you. So here are all the ingredients you need to make a fei ai e lengi. So these are all bought at um, Aldi as well as the local fruit and veg shop. Um, so we've got one onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic. I put four cans of mackerel. We've got some salt and pepper. And then we've got some garlic salt to sprinkle on top. And lastly, the main ingredient is the Cara coconut cream. So we're just going to use all one liter of it. Um, alternatively, you can also use mayonnaise as well. But yeah, preferably we're going to use the original way, which is the Cara coconut cream. So let's begin. Okay, guys. So first, we're going to put our elengi into the um, bowl. So we're going to. This is what they look like. <laughs> they don't look uh, appetizing, but trust me. Once the coconut cream and the onions have been added, as well as the seasoning and garlic, it's gonna come out real nice. So, with the eating, you don't put in the oil or the, the juices, okay? So you have to drain that out. So you're just using the actual fish itself, okay? When I'm done, I'm just using a wooden spoon to scoop them out. So this is what it looks like, and I'll just open the can for you and see what is inside. So that's what it looks like inside. So what I've done is I've just drained the, the oil out. Like so, see how much oil there is in there? <laughs> and then we're going to just pop that in there like that. So at the beginning I did say four cans of elengi, but this one I'm going to do three. But um, you can drop to four as well for this mix, just to give it more elengi in there. So next we're going to get our wooden spoon. Oh, you're just going to slowly... So you're not going to really squash them all, but you're just going to break up the pieces. Okay. Just enough so then you can still see there's parts of the fish in there. Okay, so this is mackerel. I don't know if you can do the same for sardines, but you can give it a go. Okay. So not too much. Okay, the salmon's but you don't want to really mamuki muki the, or whatever we call it, the fish. So just keep it intact. Okay. Next we're going to grab our onions. And those are chopped up. Okay, so I already pre-chopped this one onion. I'm gonna mix that in. Okay, next we're going to add in our 
Mint Scarlet. That's one tablespoon, okay? And then we're going to mix that again. And lastly, I'm going to add in your seasoning. Pepper. A bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And then your garlic salt. Garlic salt's just there to give it a round garlic flavour. Okay. You're going to mix that all together. And then lastly, we're going to add in our coconut cream. Just the binary thing together. Okay, that looks been good so far. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab our oven dish. So next we're gonna grab our oven dish. So I like the ones that are quite deep. Okay, because this dish is. going to pour that all in there okay Ooh. and like I said that's why it's best to just break up the fish rather than really mash it because <laughs> if you mash it too much you still won't get that those fish pieces in there you're really going to end up with just like a fish pulp so that's why it's best to just keep it intact next we're going to grab the foil Cover the top and just allow that to bake. Oh. I'm going to cover the top and allow that to bake about 170 to 180 degrees for about 45 minutes. And then, what you're going to do next after that, you're going to take the foil off and then brown the top. Okay? So the reason we're going to bake it first with it because it was going to it's going to cook the onions, and then we're going to um, take the foil off, and that will brown the top and give it that nice cooked layer. Okay, so we're going to put it in the oven now at 170 to 180 degrees at about 45 minutes. Okay. So I've just preheated my oven, so it's important to preheat your oven first before you you know start baking because it's it's quicker and faster that way. Hi guys, so I'm just um, going to check the Fai A A Lingi now. It's been around 50 minutes. So I'm going to take it out of the oven. Show you guys. Woo, smells good. So I'm just going to put it up here on the stove top. And be careful when taking this off. Oh, see the sides are bubbling now, which means it's cooking. So we're going to brown the top now. Put it back in the oven and that will help dissolve some of the excess water. Okay guys, so I've just taken it out of the oven and oh it smells so good. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So what will happen, like remember I said before, after 45-50 minutes you take the foil off and you let it brown on the top. And so you're going for like a almost like sort of burn just to help bring the flavours out. And when it first came out it was actually bubbling on the side so you'll definitely know that it's been cooking for a while. Also note that the um, water has evaporated from the, um, the coconut cream as well as the um, airline you can so this is what it's supposed to look like guys I, I like a more browner top but I mean it's still cooked so there you go there's your fai a e lingi and now we're gonna serve it into a bowl and then put it on a plate with some taros okay so ooh, you want it to be nice and thick like that oh. And we 
gonna some more. Oh, there you go. And so you have it nice and nice thick. Fai ai e lengi. You have it with galo. Looks so good, eh? Nice and creamy. But yeah, like I said, if you want a browner finish on top, just leave it in the oven and maybe put it on grill as well for another 15 minutes on when you've taken the foil off. So then it will sort of brown the top and give it that nice crisp layer. So there you have it guys, there's our cooking vlog for today. Um, I'm gonna do my outro here because I really wanna have some fai ai e lengi, but there you go. There's the fai ai e lengi with galo. And I'm gonna try some right now with you guys. You guys are right here in front of me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, onion, so creamy with the coconut, coconut cream. Oh. Have it with some galo. Oh, that one's a little bit of galo, but mm. actually, wait. I'm gonna cut it up, the galo up. We're gonna have this properly. <laughs> I see that. And grab a piece of galo. Scoop it with the ai ai elengi. Okay. Now we're talking. Try to burn yourself. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Are you jumping in on this? It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, God, it's so creamy. Wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. Honestly, it's so good. Mm. I can't stop eating it. Well, that's our vlog for today, guys. I ate a lingy. Mm. Remember to follow me on Instagram and also Twitter, Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube page. Have a good week. Have a blessed week and stay safe. Remember to follow the restriction and regulation rules for your country. Bye. <laughs>